What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Live the Dream Cube. Hmm. What is the most dreamlike card here? Is it Nyxple Mansion? It's got to be Nixie, right? This card's unforgiven knows what's up. <laughs> Big fat green dude. That's right. All right, we're going to take Nyxple Mansion. This isn't anything like my dreams. Oh, not my dreams. No. I like Bituminous Blast. I like Rakdos Carnarium. I like Rexage. Robots are cool. <laughs> Solemn's fine. Who cares about stupid Solemn Simulacrum? Kiora's pretty cool. I kind of like Bit Blast. <sighs> Solemn Simulacrum, you're you're a stupid robot, aren't you? I think I like Kiora better than Solemn Simulacrum. Like Kiora, when you untap a land with an explanation, you're getting three extra mana. <gasps> oh, I like a Valky God of Lies. Now I want to cascade into it. I want to cascade into it. I think it's actually Valky. I like Great Henge a lot as well. <laughs> Ugh, God. Cavalier of Gales? Cavalier sucks. It's like the worst Cavalier as well. It's also trouble. I would never take that over a Great Henge when we're already green. Yeah, I'm going to take Great Henge. I don't really find the need to branch out into a... Huh. This is interesting. Cavalier of shit. <laughs> what if we just take Karuga and make it our companion? Also, Clever Impersonator is probably just better, right? Copying anything. 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 It's pretty good, right? Oh, I like a Zagoth Triome. That's two of these colors. Yeah, we'll take the Zagoth Triome. I have Doubling Season and Divine Visitation in play. Avengers of Zendikar, here I come. Here he comes. So now we have to choose. Do we want to take the blue, green, and white land or the blue, green, and red land? I think it's the blue, green, and red land because this is just a strictly better land. Not color wise, but in terms of what it can do. Ooh, Blasphemous Act is interesting. It makes me wonder if we can just play Blasphemous Act and get like that brash taunter to table. I'm going to take it. Unexpected results, huh? Man, people loved... This is like literally my most popular article on TCG Player ever in the history of my articles on TCG Player. I might just take it. Eh, commit to memory is actually fine. Captivating Crew is okay. We just don't really have a way to exploit it, but I think Commit to Memory is pretty good. There's a Boros Reckoner to go with our Blasphemous Act. Kerwood, I hope you're still hanging out, buddy. I'm trying not to cannibalize, or I guess not cannibalize, monopolize all the pineapple. Because that's all I really want. Hmm. Come on, Brash Taunter. Now we are living my dream. Triple Red's a little rough, but... The interesting thing is this: if the Seaside Citadel comes back, the white mana off of the Seaside Citadel does actually help us cast, cast Brash Boris Reckoner. 
Oh yeah, the new the new five four. I think we played against that guy in uh in the last round in the last draft. Yeah, like whenever excess damage is dealt, you get to deal it to something else. So you're like, all right, I'll kill your one one, but then I'll also deal you twelve. Dreams now with pineapple chips. <laughs> Who calls them pineapple chips? Banana chips are called banana chips, but I don't think pineapple pieces are called pineapple chips. Perception. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the Karuga came back, and we literally don't have anything that costs less than that. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> eh. Oh, Pull from Tomorrow came back. That's interesting. I don't hate Pull from Tomorrow. Oh, Gruul Signet's nice. Oh, look at this anguished unmaking. Oh, that's sick, dude. I think it's Gruul Signet. Pull from Mar already takes away from Karuga as our as our champion. I don't think there's anything else here that's really which is sad. I don't think I don't think Gruul Signet's the best. Boros Garrison's not terrible. It does let us cast Reckoner, but the problem is this only casts our red cards. If this is like a red green land, I'd be more about it because obviously it casts half of our deck, which is the reason why I'm all about the Gruul Signet here. The Seaside Citadel did not come back either. Tundra is actually not terrible because it does let us cast Boros Reckoner off of it. I did not order that secret layer. I only wanted three out of the five cards. So I'm hoping I can get them for just cheaper. I only wanted um, Dreadbore, Anguished Unmaking, and um, the black green one. What's that one called? I literally can't think of the name. <laughs> I do like Tatiova here. I think Tatiova is actually really good. Yeah, Standard Beat knows what's up. I'm going to take Tatioba. Gotta keep him Tatioba. Uh, no, it's not Abrupt Decay. Assassin's Trophy. That's the one. I think this card's super cool. Um, I don't know how good it is, but I think it's real cool. Got to keep them Tatioba. That doesn't even make any sense. It's not even a... Could just be Mana Confluence. I also like Azorius Chancery. Again, it's a blue land, so it lets us cast our blue spells, but it also lets us cast Boros Reckoner off of it. I think Mana Confluence is also fine. I'll take the Mana Confluence. I have this aversion to lands that deal us damage, but... What are you going to do? Hey, I was doing something. I literally forgot what it was. Anyway, Spite Mare. Wow, we could have Spite Mare, Brash Taunter, and Boros Reckoner. It's not Blood Crypt. Uh, this cube is one of my favorite cubes. I don't think it's Maelstrom Nexus. I think it just might actually be Spite Mare. Oh, Windswept Heath is great. It hits both of our Triomes. Selective Adaptation. Real the top seven cards of your library, choose among them a card with flying, a card with first strike, and so on for double strike, death touch, haste, hex, proof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance. That's actually pretty sweet. I'm definitely considering creating this cube in real life and just having a second cube. I think I just want Inferno Titan, to be honest. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll take this guy. Perforos' intervention uh, deals tw x, tw x twice x damage target creature or planeswalker. So I could deal five to like Boros Reckoner, and it's actually ten to their face. That's interesting. I think this card's actually not great, but it might be good here, especially with Nyx Bloom Ancient. This just kills them when you have three creatures that I can bounce off of. <sighs> Awkwardly, Sacred Foundry is just not that good. <laughs> Whenever a lander does a battlefield under your control, create a colorless equipment named Rock. Oh, man. That's actually great flavor, though. Um... Yeah, I'm just taking Walking Ballista here. We have Nyx Bloom Ancient, so. Electro Dominance. Unfortunately, you don't do that much here, I don't think. Doubling Season, do you do anything? You double tokens and double counters. So you do have an effect on, like, Walking Ballista. And Planeswalkers, so, like, Kiora. That's pretty much it. Puts two counters on with Great Hinge. I think it's still the card to, to take here, but we don't really have a way to exploit it so far. I don't love Gin of Wishes, just to be clear. I'll take C's. It's just like... Oh, his Aureus Chancery came back. That's actually pretty sweet. It also helps cast Spite Mare as well. So, like, these are kind of like red or white cards, he says, when they're so obviously that. Um... Yeah, sure. Oh, that's his intervention. Agar. I like an Arid Mesa. Don't care about a Demir Signet. Chromatic Lantern is cool. I think it's just Arid Mesa. Arid Mesa can get our Ketria Triome. Cannot get our Zagoth Triome, unfortunately. We can probably pick up another land that I can get. Can also just get a mountain. Garrick is cool. Like we don't have any creatures for Ilharg, unfortunately. You guys know I love an Ilharg, but this is not like an Ilharg deck. Garrick does let us go from turn four to turn seven. Which probably kills them. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take the Garrick. Simic Growth Chamber seems good. Um, Dragon Lord of Tark is cool. I think it's just some growth chamber here. Watery Grave, not what we're looking for. Tybalt's Trickery is cute. I think I just want Fire Prophecy. We just don't have a ton of removal. What does this thing do? For each player, choose friend or foe. Each friend returns a creature card from their graveyard to their hand. Each foe sacrifices a creature. That's not bad for three mana. You draw a card and they sack a creature. Omnath. What do we have here? We have Windswept Heath, Azorius Chancery, Stuffy Doll as well, Scalding Tarn as well, This pack's really good. Um, I also like Tarn here. I think we have enough Stuffy Doll effects. I don't think we're likely to cast the Omnath. Take Skeleton Tarn. Giganth is interesting. Giganth seems very hard to to cast in this not to, to, to have your as your companion in this format I wish I had more Blasphemous Act as cards because right now just having like Brash Taunter and Spite Mare and Boris Reckoner aren't really like 
They're not doing a ton without the one Blasphemous Act we have. I also just like Electrolyze. Yeah, I think it's Vivian. Actually, Vivian's just really, really strong. Oh, wow, that's a late Cruel Ultimatum. We're not going to take it, unfortunately, but it's a late Cruel Ultimatum. I think we're just taking Mythos. Mythos is always super impressive. Um, in whatever pre the teamwork queue we were playing this in, it was actually very good. This pack is not that great. I'll just take Ral, I guess, and we can also take Discovery Dispersal. We can play it off of our Zagoth Triome if we wanted to play the Dispersal half. <sighs> Meh. I do like Supplant Form. Uh, Tezzeret's Gambit's also not bad. Yeah, I'll take the Supplant Form. That card's pretty sweet. See, again, it's like... Elharg is cool and all, but we just don't have, like, what are we going to do? Put a Brash Taunter into play attacking? We can put an Inferno Titan or Nyx Blumation into play attacking, but I don't know. They're not super exciting. Spider's fine. I don't think we're ever going to have Delirium. Eh. Actually, Ral's Outburst and Crater Maker are both fine. I think we'll take the Crater Maker. That's a playable dude. I'm going to take this. Actually, we'll take the Mirari Conjecture. Omnath came back. So we have Mana Confluence, Azorius Chancery, Windswept Heath. Yeah, we're definitely taking this. And I'm kind of hoping that... Oh, Electrolyze came back. I was kind of hoping that Savannah came back because we have Windswept Heath. Fashion. Cruel Ultimatum is going to be the last pick for somebody. Man. Okay, sure. So what does Scholar do? Um, you may cast an instant or sorcery or artifact from your graveyard without paying its cost. Sure. That's fine. I Man, that seems reasonable we might be able to get it with 16 lands because we do have civic growth chamber and azorius chancery chancy i might cut spite uh, it's easier to cast than boros reckoner actually i might cut boros reckoner oh god kerwitt's gonna be so mad though it's just i mean we did we did pivot to like much higher red concentration so can go in the two drop. We can cut unexpected results. I don't. I don't feel like we're in unexpected results deck. I do like commit to memory. I think it's good. I think. I don't think if you need mythos and clever impersonator. This creates a, a copy of target permanent. This enters as a copy of a non-land permanent. I think mythos is actually just better. And this will be our deck. Interesting that they only have one white here. Ten red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we're going to put a five here. Oops. It's a terrible five. Okay. So blue, so it's actually blue is 11, red is 15, green is 11. So we're gonna go white sources. One, two, Tarn doesn't get a white, unfortunately. I think we do need one planes because we can get it with windswept teeth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. It would be four. All right. Blue, red, green. Okay, blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Green, or red, rather, we have one, two, three, four, four without the signet. And green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm going to probably say three other green, four other red, and then one other blue, just so we can search for it. So one blue, four red, and three green. And that leaves us with eight sources of blue, eight sources of red, and nine sources of green. I think that seems fine. Too bad we didn't get a trick bind, he says. <sighs> oh dear. Kurt, I lost the shuffle again. You'll get your notification soon. Well, they do not want to play against us, so. Oh, maybe this person does. Maybe this does. Decks with two colors aren't as fun as decks with three plus. I, I agree with you. Do I have a cycle, a favorite cycle of non-land cards? Uh, the Triumphs are up there. I think they hit, like, all the right notes. Okay. Gary. Seagate Oracle. Oracle, if you will. Oh, what did you say? Do you have a favorite cycle of non-land cards? Oh, a favorite cycle of non-land cards. Oh. Uh, I thought you said a favorite cycle of non- I, I was thinking non-basic land cards. Um, favorite cycle of non-land cards. Ultimatums are sweet. I really don't want this... Yeah, that's pretty good, all right. Oh, Jesus. Having a bad time. Having a bad time. Yeah. Don't like that. We can actually play that and then play Azorius Chancery. We could also just commit to memory of the stupid Thassa. Hmm. Hmm. 
I like this a little better because being able to untap Chancery gives us two mana. Then we play Garrick, untap Chancery and something else. Like it just, I feel like it nets us a good amount of mana next turn. Well, now it doesn't, but. Yeah, so if we played Garrick made a beast, they'd kill Garrick anyway. So, you know, that's cool, I guess. Man, Seagate Oracle into Thassa. Seems good. Seems G O O O D. So we play Garrick. One, two, three, four. Play this mountain on the floor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Garinold. Untap these two. Kill this idiot. All right. Wait, what? What? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I get they flickered so with Thassa. I don't. Yeah, I get it, guys. I don't know how that, why that would affect that. If it's a different object, why do they, why do they still control it? They didn't flicker Vizier with Thassa, otherwise they flickered Sower. Oh, they did. Oh. I said, at the beginning of Rand Step, Exile Target Creature, you control. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Okay. I thought they flickered Sower. You guys were saying they flickered Sower with Thassa. Yeah, that doesn't work. Flickering Vizier works. It's like Resto, because some cards say, like, you have to own the card. Like, exile a card, or, or, or returns to its owner's control. Some cards say, like, exile a creature you control, or return to the battlefield under your control. And that's, like, a way to permanently keep your, uh, your opponent's stuff. Which is what they did. They kept their opponent's stuff. I mean, we already have Mythos. I don't think I want two of that effect. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. We got a white source, a green source, and a blue source. Let's see if we can get some red sources here for this for this Omnath. Come a come a come a come a come a chameleon. Oh, found a red source, guys. Did you see it? You love to see it. That's what they say, right? First, we don't have any three drops. Give me a three drop because I have a four drop, two four drops. Okay, well that's gonna. Well, we're just gonna go to Triome here. I didn't want to play this, but we don't have a red source without it, and I want to get a good red source. So,
I love a good red sauce. And now we're going to go with Ketria. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we're definitely playing Omnath here. One. And then they can steal it, and that'd be cool. Oh, we can walking ballista their, uh, their stupid sower of temptation that they're undoubtedly going to have here. Okay. <laughs> okay, they got a Garrick. Much on Mythos this, to be honest. Greetings from New York City. Is that is that Elias official in the chat? Thanks for the think. Oh, and they're going to block. And they get their sore of temptation. Oh. I worry I can't be trusted with um, trail mix. Yeah, all right. None of this is super exciting. They blink their Revel Arc, they get one Watcher back. Okay. Come on, come in Matthew, hopefully soon. I've been looking forward to it. I'll have you know I have not cracked it open yet. Betrayal mix. That's see, that's funny. That's a that's comedy. Let me get another card. Huh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So we have six mana. Supplant form is five. We can bounce the Revel Arc. Get a copy of Revel Arc. <sighs> like a retainer <laughs> see that's that's gold can we make this a four four i don't think so that'd be eight mana so seven mana one two three four five we have four. we're one mana shy this is really this is obnoxious this one's not not ideal here so one two three four five All right, we're doing it. And by doing it, I mean casting the spells that are in our deck and allowing our opponents to do the same. really fucking annoying ah oh, the old play a land before you play your sower of temptation a classic 
Welp. That's fun. I mean, maybe we can get Brash Taunter and then Blasphemous Act, huh? Boros Reckoner. Nope, no Blasphemous Act yet. Okay. Yep. Good times. Three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So essentially nine mana. So this is five. We can walking blister for two. One shy on what the walking blister should be. This is three. I guess we can play spite mare. So we can go one, two, three for Spite Mare, then one, two, three, four, five. Nope, that doesn't do it either. So this needs to be six, which is going to cost us five. And this cost us three, so we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we're two. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. This leaves us with two mana, essentially three mana, but yeah. Not with the Boros Reckoner on the board, it doesn't. Cool. Are we just dead on board? Six, seven, nine, twelve, 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 Oh, Misty Rainforest. How nice. Fun deck. I mean, at least, I don't know, man. Like, it's really frustrating when they're like, steal your guys, steal your guys, steal your guys, steal your guy. And then when, I, like, the, the matches I'm winning, I'm like, cast a 10-mana card, cascade four times into my 8-mana card. And I'm like, at least I feel like I'm trying to do things that are not absolutely, like, oppressive and degenerate. I guess their dream is just a little more selfish than mine. Uh, sure, we'll keep this. Slow hand. Yeah, this is a rough hand interesting well couldn't play anything anyway so that timing there is reasonable Well, what are the odds this gets countered? I think it's 300%, but it was not. 
Okay, so next turn we can Nyx Bloom Ancient. That seems... Let's cast, oh god, cast, target this gentleman, one, two, three, four, Dunzo, get rid of this gentleman, get my gentleman back, uh, make another beast, two beasts, That is just fine. Oh my god, they blunk it? Good gravy. Don't tell me you blunk it. So we can go one, two, three. We play Kiora. We have one, untap two, two, three. I guess we can actually just play Kiora and keep up commit to memory. Blue. Three. I kind of like that. We could play Nyx Blue Ancient, but I kind of want to have some protection here. Plus, next turn when we play Nyx Blue Ancient, it just gets real big. Or I meant we get to draw a card. That's what I meant. <laughs> it gets real big is not what I meant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we actually couldn't have played Nyx Blue Ancient anyway because we don't have the land, so. And this guy can't even attack. Wow, that's rude. Gotta keep them separated. Okay. Give me something good. One, two, three. Hmm. What's happening? Oh, Unforgiven with the 200 bits. I appreciate you, buddy. Got to get back to some work. Unforgiven. Have a good work, buddy. Have a good work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So. Green. Green. Green, green. Draw a card. Oh, it's your daddy. I don't think we're... If we untap for three, we can't do anything, so... All right. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna deal like a three to our Nyx Bloom Ancient. Are they gonna concede? It's the alternative. I was like, they're either gonna kill our Nyx Bloom Ancient or concede on the spot. 
Oh well, guess we figured it out. One goes to the morgue and the other to jail. One guy's wasted and the other's a waste. Man, double, double bounce lands. You kind of wish you're on the, on the play. You know, you know what I'm saying? You feel me, brah? Fire Prophecy. I guess we can go Ballista for two and then play Bounce Lands after that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Technically, I, yeah, I am three cards ahead. They mulliganed and we got uh, the double bouncy boys. Oh, give me the bounce, boys. Free my soul. I want to get... Hmm. It is tempting to play that. Or did they... Did they mulligan? Yeah, they mulligan to six. Alright. One, two, three. We're going to play Ketria Trium because we want to be able to play uh, Omnath next turn into Simic Growth Chamber of the Forest. Does that work? I don't know. Oh boy, that's nice. This guy, draw a card. This guy, gain the life. Crack it, get a triome, four mana. How much does this thing cost? Oh my god, we could have literally cast it if we just got a land that came into play untapped. <sighs> Sometimes you're just really dumb. Oh well, we'll play it next turn. Uh yes, there we have forests to fetch. I mean still pretty good. Mythos. Wow, I was gonna say mythos to copy this and get your boy back. Um one, two, three, yeah, this is gonna be pretty brutal. Uh, one, two, three, four, done. Copy yours. Get our boy back. Draw a card. Play a land. It's got to be growth chamber here, right? Bounce that. Get in there. You can discard a forest here. Yeah, okay. And they are determined to get rid of that boro that uh that Ami. Ami Salami. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Oh, 
Oh, it was a scalding tarn. Yeah, we couldn't get a green source with that. Never mind. I'm I'm not smart. Yeah, no, we couldn't have gotten it. Good old Fabloop. Banishing light. Oh no. Well, this is just sad. I spent so much time and effort on that. Well, we have lots of things we can do. One, two. I think red is definitely our bottleneck here. Yeah, we only have one red source. So we can't cast Reckoner. I guess we can play Kiora, but that still only gives us two. We can go white, red. White. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we can go one, two, three, untap this. We can go land. Kiora. Untap. I think it's just more, It's. I think it's a little more important to keep up commit to memory here. Because we can still just win next turn. We just pump this to a four. Counter whatever they play, pump it to four. Yeah, see, that's got to go. Yep, that'll do. All right. Man, these have been some matches. Give me the beat, boys. Bro, blueberry milkshakes are the truth. The thing about this format is I feel like all decks look sweet. Man, on the draw again? I don't love being on the draw when you have double bounce lands. It's just worse. You just don't want to discard. I will get a Ketria Triome, though. I'm pretty sure we just play this. Then next turn, play some Growth Chamber electrolyze something and then we can untap the growth chamber which seems pretty sweet oh uh, yeah it seems fine Cause you belong to the city. What does this thing do? Bees a tutu. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna electrolyze it. Ooh, mana con. Gotta keep them crater making. Hey, don't pay no mind. Crater makers. All the time. You get it. Oh, a gore claw. I actually don't think I want to put anything. I, a crater maker kills this. It can also kill something else. Uh, maybe it's Vizier? Let's bounce the forest, though.
Oh boy. Seems good. Hmm. That is a thing. Trample and haste. Well, we're definitely putting that dude. Guitar Hero was great. I think you're referring to Rock Band, though. There was no singing component in G Guitar Hero. If you would put one or more counters on a permanent, put twice as many. If I would do that, put half as many. So, like, Vivian comes into play with one counter. Okay, second from the top. So they got one. Vorin clicks. They didn't do anything there. That's good for us, I guess. Hmm. Oh, what up, Spencer Carlson? Always a pleasure, my dude. One, two, three, four, five. They don't have six mana, so like if their if their next card isn't a land, they actually can't recast Warren Clex. I think we Vivian here. We don't need more cards. And I'd like to get this down before they get their Warren Clex out, so. Could we have played Oh, we should have played Kiora untapped and then played Vivian. That would have been much better. That would have been smarter. So we go one, two, three, untap this, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was stupid. Oh, good. They're going to kill it. Uh, ang anguish to baking. Boo. Oh, well. What can you do? Uh, let's go with Vigilance. So now it's going to be Born Clex as their next card. So if this isn't a land, then they're kind of locked out of Born Clex, which is pretty sweet. Okay, it was a land. <laughs> so now they are not locked out. Is Glorian Vorinx like 6-6 six, six or 5-5? Five, five? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is a 6-6. Six, six. So what we can do is go do the same thing. Play Kiora. One, two, four, three, four, five. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, I'll definitely double block their Vorin clicks. Because they have to tap out to do it as well. Well, basically, they have to basically tap out. Yeah, this is an easy double block if they want a Vorin clicks here. Right? 6-6, six, six, they have one mana. Easy peasy. Unless I'm missing some secret text on this guy. Oh, nice. We just get to trade. That's really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we just get to play Nixble Mansion into Inferno Titan. Draw two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nixie McMlixie. Draw a card. Add three. Untap this. Add a million. Play this guy. Draw a card. 
Okay. <laughs> yep, seems good. Okie dokie. Um, might bring in Clever Impersonator. Who knows? The problem is we didn't see a ton of permanents. We literally just saw Vorn clicks. So I think we're probably fine like this. <laughs> Curious how good you were in Guitar Hero? Uh, I'm not, I wasn't like, I wasn't like amazing. <laughs> I mostly just did it because it was it was it was fun. Like doing it on normal was fun. Doing it on hard was a little stressful and I couldn't even do it like epic or whatever. <sighs> sure, I'll keep this. We'll put pull back because I think depending on what they have. I mean like any land here is great. A bounce land is just a banana banger. Yeah, it seems fine. It gets a grill signet here. Or Kiora. Yeah, like, playing on easy or normal, like, even if you're not, like, super expert going a million miles an hour, it's still just satisfying. You know what I mean? Like, it was just fun. Oh, how nice. Huh. Could have been worse. So now we get to go Kiora for three. And then one, two, three. We can go Kiora into Vizier actually next turn. That seems pretty decent. Plus, they don't have a ton of power on board. Yeah, I don't care about that. Deal. Okay, R-A-F-T. How much is, what's, what are we dealing next turn? We have one, two, untap, three, four, untap, five, six, seven, eight, so we can go Brash Taunter, five creatures on board, have three mana left over, four mana left over. Yeah, we can actually go Taunter into Blasphemous Act next turn, which is pretty sweet. <sighs> Assuming these two survive. Does that not kill anything? Are they just putting counters on it? Nice. Oh, this is going to be epic. Unless they kill this. And then it's going to be sad. Don't kill it. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, this is just going to be... We're just going to live the dream here. Okay. McDoki. One, two. Three, four, five. Brashy boy. Oh, it's your little brashy boy. Do we even have to untap? What is this? Cost two, right? No, it costs three. So I guess we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can play Beanstalk Giant for like seven, but this guy's indestructible and we just fight him and kill them. So. That's pretty cool, I guess. Gotti! 
Ooh, goody, goody, goody. Oh, man. And it's a 1-1 one, one instead of an 0-1. Oh, Plus, if they play this, like, we literally just fight it twice. Oh, we can't fight it twice, I guess. Wow, that was... Kerwit was here. I don't know where he went, but he's missing the he's missing the Blasphemous Act. Boros Reckoner. Beatdowns. Because this is just Boros Reckoner. We all know. Oh, what do we got here? Anything good? Hey, it's your boy. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we're one mana shy of being able to do all the things. Can I deal any damage to this? I guess we just attack with it, right? Get him. Um, I think we just play Vivian here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have two of her. Okay. Make a dude. Give it vigilance. Play land. Go. Okay. So like, if they they just literally can't play creatures with with big toughness with big butts. Are they just gonna play Beanstalk Giant here? There's no way. 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 <laughs> oh, Brash Taunter, you little scamp, you. Oh, man. Good times. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankformanagers.com. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. I'll see you next time. Really appreciate you.